I am Markus Ening and this is my ride. This is the Markus Ening you have never seen before. The normal day is like getting up in the morning, make breakfast for my kids, come to the stable, asking and looking if everything is all right with the horses. And then uh, soon my job is uh, start riding. I made my hobby to my job. Uh, that is also a sign that I uh, love this sport and also for sure the horses. You cannot ask him if he wants to do this job or not. You just have to feel it. And uh, the respect is the main thing if you uh, want to compete also on higher level, that you really respect the horse and uh, you feel what they, they give for you. It's not like a car, you go in and uh, give full speed. You have to feel what you can do with them, uh, which level you can jump, which level they are ready for. And uh, that's a big thing of feeling and respect for the horses. At the highest level, you need to have the horse working with you and that wants to go in the ring with you and jump for you. And that's what I've learned here. And like always like listen to the horse and try to make the best uh, for the horse. Marcus' capability in feeling problems on horses very early is, uh, is amazing. Many times he came to me with uh, points and he said, I can feel something here, I can see something here. And I said, I can't see it. Can you explain me more? Can you show me? Then he says, listen, now I feel it. Can you see something? That stresses me sometimes because I can't really follow him. Uh, but at the end, normally he's always right. First of all, it's very important that the horses are very well trained and then they are mentally uh, ready for it. You also feel if they, if they don't want to do it anymore. Uh, but if you have a horse, what you have for years, uh, they love to go on the lorry, they love to go in the ring. And uh, important for me is uh, that I keep the mentality and the, the whole thing, what they like, that I push it really in front, but at the end, I have to figure out that we are getting back on the same road and uh, I really get them on my side. He is better than five years ago and even better than 15 years ago. And you know, all the experience he's made, he's trying to improve his daily work with the horses. And uh, on top of that, he's also, even though he's very competitive, never um, overdoing the horses. He's a genius. Marcus, as a rider, is a genius. He could sit on a three-star horse and win a five-star Grand Prix. He's, I think, the best. I only go in the big classes with a horse. What I have the feeling, they are ready for it and they really want to do it. And I always try to keep it as simple as possible, to give the horse a chance also to do what they like to do and uh, I'm always trying to do it easy for them. For me, it's not important maybe the one win. For me, even it's more important that the horses are consistently going and that I always get forward with them. So it's difficult to say if I can get more out of them. Because at the end, I think uh, if they jump over years consistently, uh, uh, bigger classes, so it's also in them. Which is such a brilliant natural talent and he keeps the standards so high. He never lets himself slip or he never has a bad weekend. He's always keeping um, keeping his standards so high and been such a perfectionist, you know, and uh, that really comes true. To use the word genius with Marcus comes easy because you look at what he does and it seems like he does nothing and yet the horse that actually performs in the ring is like magic.
Conado is already uh, really one of my favorite horses. He is uh, an incredible talented horse. Um, he has a very good character. He's every day a big motivation. Um, over the last years, uh, he lost one eye. Makes it even more difficult for him, but he's like a person. He never gave up and uh, he always wants to do the best and uh, even more. So with him, it's just to control his temperament and uh, looks that he is happy. He has an amazing talent. And I'm very proud to have a horse like this in my life um, because uh, it's not many horses. They, they have this quality on the jump, the rideability and the scope, uh, everything in one package. It's very extremely. And uh, if you see him, you normally don't forget him because he's like also a very pretty and impressive horse. Funky was born here. I rode the mum already. My brother was the European champion with her as a junior. It was really my coming up horse and still his memories uh, are amazing. Funky has an amazing character. He's a bit like my anchor. Uh, you always come use him for every class. And uh, I have always a feeling if he cannot jump the biggest course, uh, nobody else can jump him because uh, he's giving me such an amazing, safe and uh, confidence feeling to go in everything uh, what can be. If you have uh, breeding like this, uh, also the mum was with Pilot, uh, an amazing uh, stud book and the hope is huge. And uh, at the end, what he is now, uh, he's uh, really one of my safest horses I have in the stable. He's quite consistent. He's not like the genius like Conado is, but even uh, his character, his mentality uh, makes the riding very easy for me. The main important thing by Comel 4 is his heart is huge and uh, his quality is also like uh, outstanding. And uh, he has is such a character that he never gives up. He's like a freak. Whatever you want to have from him, he was given the, over the last years. And uh, he is also like a really big personality. Every horse has something natural and my job is to take these natural things uh, out that everybody can see it. But uh, he's so strong in his mind and uh, such a tough horse. Uh, so it's on his way, he's uh, very extreme, talented, and uh, also like uh, his brain, I think is the biggest goal. Pranta too, I think uh, he is the professor in the stable. He's very flexible and uh, he is also very fast, like in the jump off. And uh, he knows already like uh, 20 strides before the distance earlier than me. Um, he had already a few riders in his life. So that produced him also. And I think this is also his strongest thing, that he is uh, so clever in the ring. And you have many, many options with him to jump the biggest courses in the world. Stargold is uh, so far not on the level from the other ones because he's also a few years younger. He had now his first uh, five stars and uh, he did it amazing. And I'm very looking forward to see what the next shows are bringing for me with him. Uh, but he's on, on his way a very different horse. Uh, his technique is like uh, he never has to over jump. Uh, it's like perfect. So if the jump is 160, he's only jumping 165. And that uh, makes him uh, on that level also very clever and also very flexible in the ring. You can add or you can normal distances. Uh, he's a lot playing between the, the jumps.
for me it's only important to have his focus on the jumps uh, because he has also a very strong character and a huge heart. It's not only you. Like I have 10 horses for international shows. So I need a good groom on the show, I need a good rider at home, I need a good vet, I need a good blacksmith, I need a good physio. The whole team is much bigger than you think. It's not only the rider and the horse.